In today's Madden 18 tip, we're going to be taking a look at how to beat Cover 2 in Madden 18. In my opinion, Cover 2 is once again the best coverage this year. In my opinion, the most difficult coverage to beat. And the play we're going to be utilizing comes from the bunch wide in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. And it is the play PA Post. Uh, this is one of my favorite plays of all time. And we're going to show you how to beat Cover 2 with this play. So the best Cover 2 in the game is the dime one four six and if you use tampa two out of it it is really solid all right so the key with this um play is knowing how to use it so what you want to do is you want to set up a curl flat read so we're going to put ezekiel elliott on an out route and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our tight end jason witten we can do a couple things we could leave him on that flat route okay but i normally like to put him on a streak um, because it's going to clear out more room for Des Bryant to come underneath. So the snap of the ball, our first read is this quick route to Des. This quick route to Des, you'll find does a really, really good job at beating the coverage. If you want to motion him in just a little bit, it will get him a nice clean release, and you'll come right underneath the defense right in here, um, as you can see. And this will be open 90% of the time against cover two. Just a quick little little flip right in there. Really, really solid route. Another thing you can do with this, you can do a lot of things with Des Bryant's player. You can put him on an in route motion to the left. This is going to be a little more delayed, but he is going to be open as we throw interception there. A good play by that guy. Um, he is going to be open later on in the play. I threw it a little too early. So just motion him out and then just kind of wait for him to come right over the middle here. And he's going to have a lot of room to work with. Okay, so there's that option as well. But by and large, I find the most effective way is to just keep him on his route as is. And you'll see this this normally will work really, really well. I threw it way too late there. I also find one, one I mean, there's just several things you can do. But the essential, the essential uh, thing you want to get across with Des Bryant is you want him to run a underneath route, whatever that looks like, okay? And the in route can work really well too. Um, you're really gonna have to gauge, if your opponent is running mostly zone, then put him in in route. If he's running mostly man, then put him on the, uh, leave him on the regular route, okay? The next, uh, the next read on this play is gonna be to your running back, this quick out to your running back. You're gonna catch it and then what you want to do is you want to try to spin Ezekiel Elliott back inside when you go to get tackled. So just run your play, let him get out there, and then if you if you can beat him to the sideline, beat him to the sideline. But I find the most success to be catching the ball and then whipping my whipping Ezekiel Elliott back like that right there. You're going to get that break tackle animation and you're going to be off to the races or big plays. They will eventually have to come down on this. This is open all day long against cover two. Plus, it's Ezekiel Elliott in the open field. In my opinion, this is really, really effective for a team like the Cowboys. Um, and if you use that spin, it's very, very difficult to stop this play. Now, again, the spin, I've talked about this a lot. I think this is the best move in the game. You want to hold left trigger and then flick him, flick the, the right stick um, basically from 3 o'clock and you want to hold it down and rotate it all the way back across to, um, to 9 o'clock. So there you see that spin and then you're up the sideline and you can use stiff arms and whatever else you want to use. But I think this really, really takes this play to the next level against something like a cover 2 is when you have something like this that you can really... I mean, you can really make some moves on that corner. That corner, and I'm saying, guys, this is very, very consistent. I mean, very, very consistently, you're going to break this tackle if you do this move. If you do that um, that spin back animation move, um, this is really going to help you. And if you want to learn more about offense in this year's game, I really want to encourage you to check out the premium membership in the description. It has everything you need to dominate your opponent offensively and defensively, it comes with six ebooks. It also comes with a one hour video every single week that is going to enhance your experience and give you an update on what I am doing. If you guys uh, haven't checked your emails recently, the premium members 
got another update today with what I believe is the best defense in the game. Um, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal de defense that we put together. So you can check that out in the description. Again, I really think that that is really going to take your uh, your game to the next level. But the next read off that, so enough of me getting excited about Ezekiel Elliott's moves. The next thing you want to look to is your your tight end up the seam is actually probably your first read on this play. And that's just they completely blow the coverage. Very rarely will it be open. Um, but if they do blow the coverage, you'll see you can hit him right in here with a possession catch. The possession catches are the best bang for your buck this year. So you could hit him uh, right in there. But if that's not open, if those two guys aren't open, then at this point you're going to be having this guy right here open, Cole Beasley, which is going to be probably your best route on the play for cover two. This is part of the reason we use this play. Um, basically, when he, when he, if you have time in the pocket, you're going to destroy cover two with right in that little pocket right there to Cole Beasley. You'll see it again. I mean, this is very, very consistent. If they go Tampa two, what's going to happen is unless they use or control it, which they might, if they do use or control it, then they will be able to stop that. But then you're going to have all these other routes. Um, you're going to have that route to, to Jason Witten a lot. If they use or control the middle linebacker, they're going to you're going to they're going to basically concede this route right here. Okay, and like I said, this is very very consistent. You will very very consistently have that route open. And then Cole Beasley, though, if they if they don't use her, um, Dak makes a terrible throw there. But he's going to be open late in the play. Um, again, so you're going to want to look to Witten, then you're going to look to Dez, then to Zeke, and then you're going to want to look to Cole Beasley. And if Dak can make a freaking throw, you'll see this route is phenomenal, and it works really well together on this play. These these plays work really, really well. As you can see there, he is. Now, the only other thing that could potentially happen is they could fake you out, and they could say, all right, well, we're going to go cover two man, but we're going to show cover two zone, right? That's very likely to happen. If you do that, this setup, you're going to find that not a whole lot of these routes are going to beat man, but what will, will beat man is this route to Terrence Williams. And ideally in a game, you would put uh, Dez Bryant over there for that um, purpose. But PA Post, this route to the C route here, you just want to wait for him to get open. If he doesn't get open, normally this in route will. The in routes work really, really well this season. So, anyways, guys, that is PA post. That is the key to beating cover two. Again, if you run the PA post correctly, you can really destroy the cover two over the middle, uh, deep middle. So, be sure to check out the rest of our videos. If you guys watched this video and you really liked it, but you really want to take your game to the next level, I want to encourage you to really check, think about this premium membership and check it out. Again, it has absolutely everything that you guys need to dominate your opponent both offensively and defensively in Madden 18. So be sure to check out that premium membership. And for those of you that have it, make sure you watch this latest update. It will change the way you play defense in Madden 18. Thanks for watching.